Self-discipline is the key to math. It's the key to being better at math. When I was an undergrad, I had a friend, ex-military guy, huge dude, really tough looking. He would get up at four in the morning every single day and go to the gym and he would lift weights. The dude was huge. Then he would go to class early, two hours early, sit in the library and study, go to class all day, he'd bring his lunch with him and he wouldn't leave campus till five. He would go home in bed by eight, up by 4 a.m., ready to repeat. That is self-discipline. Now, do you have to be like this guy? No. Could you? Maybe. I was not able to, and that was by choice. I had other things I liked to do, and I also didn't spend three hours in the gym every day. But for him, that's what mattered. That was important to him, right? Working out, being physically awesome, and being mentally awesome. He was a rock star. I mean, the buffest, smartest math dude you would ever meet. Self-discipline, that's how he did it. So if you feel like you can't do it because your mind is all over the place and, and you can't focus, think about that guy, right? Waking up at four in the morning every day, the self-discipline that he had, absolutely incredible. If other people can have self-discipline, you can too. So how do you do it? How do you have self-discipline? Well, you ask yourself, why does it matter? Why, why does it matter that you get a good grade in that class? Why does it matter that you do your homework? Why are you even in college? Why does it matter if you pass your high school class? Why does it matter? Most of the time, it matters because if you don't pass, then you're gonna fail. And who does that affect? Well, that affects you. That affects the people around you, the people who care about you. This is your life. Have some self-discipline. Good luck.